Good morning from day two at the Riverview. They brought us our breakfast. This is fantastic. It just showed up at our door this morning. We got some muffins. We got some yogurt. We got some milk and some coffee. And I'm thinking, oh yeah. And then there's some cornflakes down here too. So, wakey wakey, muffins and cornflakes. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're just hugging. Now show everybody your turtle. Show everybody your turtle. Is that your pillow? Where's the mommy's pillow? Where's your turtle? That's daddy's pillow. So now it's time for some lovely breakfast. I like that they bring it to the room. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, and it was like, we asked for it at 8 and literally right at 8 o'clock she knocked on the door and was like, here you go, here's your breakfast. Jackson, are you loving your muffin? I think so. <laughs> now he has just one like crumb of muffin on his nose. <laughs> There's a guy over here that's fishing. I don't know if he's caught anything yet. Also, this bridge at night, do you guys hear this like low rumble of the cars coming across it? It's very relaxing. Oh my gosh, it put me right to sleep. Yeah. I we, slept so good. We were one for like white noise while we sleep. Mm -hmm. This is a great, great white noise. Also, I really like the beach in the morning because it always looks like sort of gloomy, but it's not. It'll like burn off by 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. I think so it's, it's gonna be a really nice day. It's gonna be a very nice day. Yeah. So we're all done with breakfast. Mm -hmm. We're all changed. We're all ready for the day. We are. We actually had to wait inside for a little bit because it did rain. Oh, I'm showing this blue sky over here. It did <laughs> rain. It's headed inland. But we wanted to come over to the spa at Riverview. So have a look around. We um, found out that this is like one of the one of the top rated spas in Florida. Uh, they don't have any openings for any services until the day that we leave. At but five o'clock. Right, it's <laughs> way after we're gonna be gone. So I don't think we're going to be able to get any services at the spa, which stinks because um, we've, we've heard such like glowing reviews about it. Yeah. But we are going to go check out the spa. We're going to see if we can show you some of it so you can yeah. kind of see what it's like. Also found out there's another pool here. So maybe they'll let us have a look at the other pool. It is like a mineral pool. I was looking at it online and it has um, like some waterfalls and stuff. It looks, the pictures look really nice. Is this, a, is this a historic building too? It's called the Fred Teller building. Just look at the front entrance. They have a gift shop. Back there is the Manny Petty room and they're gonna start doing couples massages again tomorrow, which is back there. This leads out to the mineral pool area and then the treatment rooms are back down this hallway as well as the showers and the locker rooms and the relaxation area. Here's a look at the pool. They've got one with a waterfall and one that doesn't have a waterfall. They're both heated. One is 102, the one with the waterfall is 102. And this one is 98. Lots of relaxation spaces out here too. So now, what do you do when you're at the beach? You go to the beach. Go to the beach. <laughs> so we're going out to the beach now. It's gonna be fun. I think the beach won't be crowded because it is a little bit like overcast out. Mm -hmm. So I think people are like, oh no, can't go to the beach on an overcast day. <laughs> but it makes for the perfect beach day. We also brought like his beach toys this time and we brought our, like our beach stuff. Yeah. So. Also, the good news is what? we get to drive onto the beach so we can just like camp out of the back of the tr of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we, like, I think it'll be a lot easier, especially with him. Now that it's daytime, I wanted to get a better look at the bikes that they have available. Like I said, if you want to use a bike, you just tell the front desk and then you can take it. You take it the half mile down to the beach, use it for the day and then bring it back. Man. That's such a good idea. I know, I wish he was old enough to like ride a bike. Right? Also, if you're wondering what that dinging sound is, that's the drawbridge over here. Somebody must have just gone through it.
What is that? Ooh, do you feel the sand moving around your toes? <laughs> what do you think, buddy? <laughs> oh, I want to go out. He's like, let's go swimming. I'm like, that's a bad idea today. Look at these waves out here. Oh, big, big one, big one, big one. Uh oh, boom. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see what you can do, buddy. Sand castle. What Knock happens? Monsters. Whoa. Monsters get the sand castle. Oh my goodness. Show daddy. Oh. Monsters. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness, are you a sea monster? Yeah. Speaking of sea monsters, when we get home, I'll be curious to see if our sea monsters hatch. Oh yeah, from when we're away. Yeah. But they haven't hatched since we planted them. Gently. Oh. 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 You did it! Whoa. Oh no! Whoa. Whoa. The, the thing too about the sand here is it's so soft. Yeah. So at some of the Florida beaches, it's more shelly or like rocky. But this is Whoa. so soft. Got a whole handful of castle right there, buddy. All right, so it's lunchtime now. So we're gonna go off and get some lunch and then Jax will go down for his nap. And then the world is our oyster. We have one re-entry on our like parking pass to get back on the beach today. How much did it cost to park? It was 20 bucks to drive onto the beach. And I did find out that the annual pass is $25 for residents of Volusia County. If you're not a resident of Volusia County, the annual pass is $100. So uh, it's probably just worth it to pay $20 to come on the beach for the day if you're not here for you know, an extended period of time. So as we are leaving, we noticed that they closed off entry into the beach. So we're not sure if it has something to do with the tide level or what does this say? Oh, no, it says high hazard. So there's a high tide hazard. Oh, so it had to do with the tide. So this is the Third Wave Cafe and Wine Bar. We're gonna go back to the Secret Garden Paradise. Back through here. Ooh, I like this a lot. I like this bench a lot too. Hi. I thought that was a snake, it's not. So unfortunately, the outside like Secret Garden area is full. So we're gonna go see about like some patio seating here at the cafe. The only difference is there are no servers here. You just like go in and order from the, the cafe counter and then take it outside. All right, buddy, we've got our seat. They're sitting out in front of the restaurant. And also, if you all are interested, here is the QR code so you can see what's available to eat. Oh, wow, this looks awesome. Look at that bacon. So this is called the basic breakfast. It's got bacon, eggs, potatoes, and some toast with some jam. And then Jen got, did you get the fish sandwich? I got the blackened fish sandwich with potatoes. It looks really nice. And then it has some kind of like uh, oh, like an aioli. Yeah, it looks like it has capers and stuff in it. Jackson's doing business deals right now. He's talking to Elmo. Can't talk. He's like, sell all the Bitcoin. <laughs> Here's Jackson's meal. We got him one egg and then some fruit. So lunch was really good. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. Mine was kind of like a brunch because I had breakfast. I want to go back and actually try the breakfast. They had a lot of really good looking stuff. Yeah. Somebody got crepes and pancakes near us and it looked so good. Yeah. And it had some really nice coffee options too. Yeah. So. But this buddy is so tired. It's time yeah. for him to have a nap. And then you're gonna head to the Marine Discovery Center for a dolphin watching tour? Yeah, I'm actually going straight to the boat right now. Oh, okay. So like, it's through the Marine Discovery Center, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to the Marine Discovery Center, I'm going to the boat. But now it's nap time for him. Yeah. So, you uh, you and I are coming together, Yeah. but you guys are staying here. They will be here, napping. So I'll be back, buddy, I love you. Have fun, Daddy. So if you all remember, the last time that we were here, there's a restaurant back here called Outriggers that we ate at. And right across the street is the way to the Marine Discovery Center. But like I said, I'm not going to the Marine Discovery Center. I'm headed straight to the boat, which is right around the corner over here. That's the boat that I'm gonna be on. Originally, we were supposed to do a sunset tour, but they called and they said, you're the only one on the sunset tour. Would it be okay if you came and you did the two o'clock dolphin sighting tour? And I said, sure, why not? So we're here now. After looking at the manifest, I think that I am one of four or five parties to be on this big boat. And we are off. Making our way to find some dolphins. Alrighty, hello everybody. Ooh. Welcome to New Smyrna. Welcome to the Indian River Lagoon. Estuary is an area where we get a mix between fresh and salt water. So estuaries are very biodiverse environments. That means that they have 
lots of species of plants and animals. This is actually the most biodiverse estuary in all of North America. We have over 4,000 animals out here, 4,000 species. It's also a nursery ground for a lot of animals. So fish will come in here through the ocean, they'll have their babies, the babies will grow up for a while, and make their way back out into the ocean as they're a bit larger. Same with some marine invertebrates, and definitely same with some birds as well. The other bird that I see on the island is the brown pelican, which is our diving bird. The brown pelican dives down from about 40 feet in the air to catch their fish. If you see them kind of lift up their heads, you'll notice they have big pouches underneath their beaks. Those pouches can actually hold over 20 pounds. So they'll gulp up a lot of water, hopefully get fish in there as well. Then they'll press their beak against their body to release any excess water and then swallow whatever fish they get whole. This is the nesting season for the pelicans and the egrets. So we do have a lot of babies up on this island. So be on the lookout for some chicks and for some nests. I feel like I've never seen a pelican nest. I can see a couple of the pelican chicks here. Um, they're white rather than being brown, and they're obviously much smaller. A couple of them sitting up about halfway up the mangroves. There's another couple underneath their moms. That's that street right down here on our right. And it's called Canal Street because the canal that actually runs underneath it. That canal goes all the way from here to I-95 over on the mainland and it was built a few hundred years ago by Dr. Turnbull, who was actually the founder of New Smyrna. Dr. Turnbull would go over to Egypt and he would study how the Egyptians built large-scale canals, specifically for drainage and for agriculture. So it was very advanced for the early settlers and it definitely helped them a lot. The main group that settled this area were the Menorcans and they came from Menorca, which is an island off of Spain. They thought they'd be very adapted to the heat and the tropical climate here in New Smyrna. That's a big house. If you're local, you might have heard about the seagrass die-off that's happening. That's true, and that is mainly being attributed to fertilizer. Because the seagrass is the manatee's main food source here in the lagoon, that seagrass die-off has also led to a manatee die-off. So now more than ever, for the sake of the manatees and the seagrass, we should be heading toward native vegetation. So when they go to sleep, they actually shut down, or they reduce their heart rate to conserve oxygen. So our hearts, they beat like 70 times a minute. A sea turtle's heart might only beat once every eight minutes. And that helps to conserve lots and lots of oxygen so that they don't have to come out very often for air. They do have predators out in the ocean, things like sharks or killer whales. Here in the lagoon, they don't really have any predators, so occasionally we see solo dolphins, which I think this is and this is gonna be an adult male. Um, the males kind of stay all by themselves, whereas the females and the juveniles tend to stick in pods. They can also communicate with members of their pods. Clicks and whistles are pretty common methods for communication. Hitting their fluke, that's their back fin, onto the surface of the water, that's another communication method, along with echolocation. Basically, they let out some sound, those sound waves will bounce back to them, and that can help to determine if there's any objects in their path. Echolocation can also help them hunt. Sometimes we see them burying their rostrum, which is their snout area, into the sand, and we know that they're echolocating, trying to find fish as they do that. There's a few groups that come out here and study them. One of those is SeaWorld. SeaWorld estimates that we have about a thousand of them out here in the lagoon. The population here in the lagoon is separate from the population out in the ocean. When I say that, I mean that the ones born here will stay here for their lives, whereas the ones in the ocean will stay there for theirs. So the ones in here have actually evolved to be a little bit smaller since it is such a shallow habitat. And then their fins are slightly longer because they do need increased maneuverability in these shallow waters. So I've mentioned that they are a mammal. Thinking about some different characteristics that make something a mammal, one of those is that mammals are air breathers. So dolphins are air breathers. They're breathing through their blowhole which is located between their head and their dorsal fin. Another characteristic of a mammal is that mammals have hair. Dolphins are born with hair, they're born with hair on their rostrum. Again, that's their snout area. Another characteristic of a mammal is that mammals nurse their young. And the calves will actually be nursed and stay with their mom for about two years. And then the last characteristic of a mammal is that they also do give live birth. They give live birth to their calf after being pregnant for about a year. So you might be wondering if any of the sharks come in here to the lagoon. They do. Um, probably the main species that we see in here is the bonnet head. That's a small species of shark. It's only about three feet and it's a type of hammerhead. So it's pretty easily identified by that shape on its head. Another species that will come in here is the black tip. The black tip is the species that does most of the bites over by the jetty. And it's called the black tip because of its dorsal fin having a black tip on it. 
Another species that comes in here is the bull shark. So I mentioned a bit earlier that a lot of fish will come in here to have their babies. Sharks will do the same thing. Probably the most famous species to do that would be the bull shark. Almost every time a bull shark is caught in here, it's pregnant. So we do know that they're coming in here to have their babies. Uh, the babies will grow up for a while and make their way back out into the ocean as they're a bit larger. All right, so I am back from the dolphin tour. What a fantastic adventure that was. Like, we saw so many dolphins. They were everywhere. Funny thing was, we saw the most dolphins just outside of the hotel that we're staying at. Like, right there on the river is where I was in the boat seeing dolphins. And then I, I texted Jen and I said, Jen, I bet you if you go outside, you can see dolphins. I did, I saw two dolphins. Jackson, I think they were too far away for Jackson to see, but we were out on the little balcony here and we he liked seeing the cars and stuff on the bridge. But I do recommend giving the Marine Discovery Center's boat tours a try. I really enjoyed it. It was a covered boat. It was nice and like breezy on there. They gave a lot, a lot, a lot of information about all of the different animals in the estuary and in the river here. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed myself. I wish that I had gotten to go, but I just, we, Jackson needed to nap and I didn't, we weren't sure if he would have, like how he would have done on it. Yeah. I was like, he's probably going to run around and annoy people, but maybe he wouldn't have, who knows? Yeah, so. I think he, I think he might've done okay because I think he might've sat still because we were moving so much. Yeah. So maybe he would have like, thought that it was a ride or something. Oh, like a two hour yeah. ride. Yeah. It was pretty long. <laughs> right. But now. It's right about dinner time, so we're gonna go like walk down the avenue, see what we can find. There's a lot of stuff that we didn't get to see on our last trip because we didn't come this far down the street. Yeah. So let's go see what we can see. Oh, there's a chicken somewhere. All right, so I went on the walk last night down here, and now it's daytime, and you're here. Look at this. There's there's the banyan tree. Look at these two palm trees that are like intertwined. That's pretty neat. I wonder if they were trying to like graft them together or something, why they're planted so close together. So we're back over by the shuffleboard court and there's this clock here. I don't think it's working right now, but it's like a piece of art. All these like weird bricks that have been shaped and formed. Almost like they've been eroded away. So we stopped off at Clancy's New Smyrna Beach, which is a, I guess, an Irish Mexican place. But it's definitely a Mexican place. And right when we sat down, like we haven't even sat yet. And they're like, here's some chips and salsa. So to start off, we got these, they're called cantina poppers. They're jalapenos filled with Oaxaca cheese, then deep fried, <laughs> and then comes out with this spicy like jam. It was a, they called it the, the raspberry inferno sauce. Oh, raspberry inferno. So do you remember inferno. when we went to the barbecue place when we were at Margaritaville? When oh we yeah, the and they didn't walk? have they didn't have the jalapeno poppers and they were served with like a spicy raspberry sauce. Yeah. So now we're finally getting to try like a version of that. Yeah. And then for Jackson, we got this taco. I think he's going to like it. Yeah, with some applesauce. Ooh, buddy. You ready for it? He's just, I love my crayons. Yeah, he, lo he doesn't like drawing. He just likes putting them in the box and taking them out of the box and putting them back in the box. And I'll put this one in. You want to put that one in? Yeah, good job. Yeah. And then you he's like, where's the other one that fell on the ground? Drop it. You put it in? Put it in. Yeah. Can you put it in the box for mama? Good Such a smart job. baby. He's like, I think I said this in a video recently, but he likes, he's a very tidy baby. Yeah. He likes to clean stuff. Good job, buddy. Let's eat our taco now. Here's a look at our chimichanga. Wow. This looks awesome. Yeah, I'm kind of like, I feel like we probably could have each gotten our own, but we did decide to split it yeah. because we are going to get some candy on the way home. Ooh, I'm excited for candy. <laughs> so we wanted to save some room for candy, you know? 
I saved the most room for candy. We got some chili con queso on top, and then there's some guac, and then there's sour cream, and then some refried beans. You have a choice between refried and black, and we went for the refried ones. The last trip that we came here, we were supposed to eat here, and then our dinner, our dinner plans changed, and we ended up eating at Flagler. Oh, that's where we went to the Flagler Tavern. I'll link that video down below so you can check the other places we ate last time. Um, but this is really nice, and then on the day that we checked out on our last trip, we ate at the place right behind us, the um, Cafe, Cafe Verde, Verde, which was also really nice. So yeah. I feel like we've had really good luck eating. I feel like a lot of the food beach. has been fantastic. Yeah, and everybody that's working at the restaurants has been great. Yeah. Like it's been, everybody is so nice out here. Mm -hmm. I think just like being at the beach, you know? Yeah, you're just like relaxed all the time. Yeah, it's really like just super chill and great. I love it. All right, I'm gonna try to get a view of this cross section of the chimichang. Oh, you're doing it? Okay. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, look at that cheese. Yes, yes. <laughs> These little cantina poppers, by the way, are delicious. Yeah, they were really good. Like so good. Highly recommend getting these. And this little like raspberry sauce. There is something wrong with your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound good. What is it supposed to sound like? I mean, it's not supposed to skip like that. That's oh, for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're like right off the road. So you get to see and hear all the cars. Um, but this little raspberry sauce, this is delicious. Definitely recommend it. I wanted to show you the inside of the cantina popper. This is like so wonderful. That's awesome. There's so much cheese in there. And Jen said that it was spicy. It is spicy to me. Is it I not mean, spicy to you? Not. I've had spicier stuff. I, I feel like we're so like opposite for spice. Like what's really spicy to me is never spicy to you. Right? It's so weird. But then there's stuff that's spicy to me and you're like, no, I love this. Mm. Mm. Here's Clancy's Cantina where we just ate. I really enjoyed our food from Clancy's. It was really good. It was really. Oh, we forgot to ask what the shamrock thing was. Because yeah. I feel like it's, it has like a... In, an Irish vibe, right? but it's definitely a cantina. Yeah. It's, it's not like it's not like an Irish pub or anything like that. So I wondered, like, what's the story behind that? I don't know, because there yeah. there's a little shamrock underneath the word Clancy's too. Yeah, we forgot to ask. We should have asked them. Hmm. But it, I would I would totally go there again. It was yeah. really good. It was good. Nobody told me that chickens like shuffleboard. <laughs> I wish I had known. Hey there, chickens. How you guys doing? Buddy, what do you think? What do you think about that chicken? I don't know. He's got he's got a very impressive waddle. Hey, I understand. Look at him, buddy. Oh, he's sharpening his beak. Say hi, rooster. Is that what it's called? Is it called a waddle? I don't know. I think that's a turkey. No, but all right. You can tell him, buddy. They're all like so pretty. Yeah, this is a specific, these are specific kinds of roosters. Wow. These are somebody's roosters. Somebody around here probably owns them. All right, next stop, Beachside Candy Company. I'm very excited to try some of the candy from in here. It says they got bulk candy, fudge, ice cream, and retro candy. Saltwater taffy and bulk candy. Now it's time for candy. Or ice cream. Ooh, which one? Probably candy. Yes. I know everything looks so good. Look, this is the turtles that look like turtles. <laughs> Just came out onto the porch and there are dolphins out yonder. See if we can see them. Look, there they are right there. Yeah. See if I can get in a little bit tighter on them. Where are you at? There they are over there. Yeah. How exciting. What a wonderful day this was. Yeah. Oh no. The drawbridge is going up. <laughs> Just right when we start recording the drawbridge. Yeah, it was fantastic. I got to see dolphins. We got to just see dolphins here right now. I got to see them too when you were on the tour. He called me, I think we told you this, and he's like, there's dolphins right outside the hotel. Yeah. They were right there. Yeah, so on the tour, we, we almost made it up to the hotel, but we didn't quite get here. So I was hoping to be able to like see Jackson and Jen like on the balcony waving. We came out to wave at you, yeah. But we didn't make it all the way down here. Uh, it was fantastic. The beach was great. Lunch was great. Dinner was great. All the food that we had was wonderful. It was a fantastic day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a cormorant out there and I was like, what's that? Oh. It's like a snake. Thank you to the Riverview for having us out. Thank you to the Marine Discovery Center for taking me on that boat trip. Mm -hmm. I am excited for tomorrow because today was so good. 
Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. We have some things that we could do, so we'll see what the weather's like. Yeah. But yeah. But all in all, great day. So with that being said, we're off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.